Come chat with me. The Grace Jamaican Jerk Festival held their annual Taste of Jerk kickoff event at the VP Records retail store. Trash and Trade and Cultural Expo educating audiences about the ultimate origins and culture that the Caribbean holds. Calypso shrimp and fry rice with celebrity chef Patrick Simpson on this week in the kitchen. Calypso shrimp. I always like to change up the flavor of things, so that's what I'm doing right here. And I'm gonna draw for my season. I'm gonna let it char a little bit. We take it to the streets to find out who the people think will win the World Cup on Street Buzz New like York. England. You're watching Come Chat with me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine, and I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. Yeah, you don't know, you're watching Come Chat With Me. And of course, we're here at the A Taste of Jerk in Queens, and that's VP, all right? And we're warming up and thing, checking out the vibes. So here we are, let's keep it locked, how are Ziggy Bless there, come chat with me, what there? A Taste of Jerk, boom blast, keep it locked. Taste of Jerk marks the official launch of Grace Jamaican Jerk Festival in New York. The event featured a press conference where media and special guests enjoy jerk chicken festival, salad, and more from participating vendors. Zero special appearances by reggae band New Kingstown and Jamaican London-born actor Dwayne Henry of its show NCIS. The media event is held yearly to inform the public of the various performances, food, vendors, and entertainment they can expect at this year festival. Life, man, never jerk is like to me like the, 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 the warm up for the Grace Jamaican Jerk Fest. Yeah, Am I right? Yeah man, it's a sample, you know, just yeah. a, li a little bit before of, of you know of what to look forward to during the big day, you know. A real man. So the big day and thing. What kind of people am I expecting? I mean, what am I? What go on that day there? Well, it's been eight years, so and you know the standard and the quality that we run things. So I mean, we can only get better. We added the farmers market this year, supporting farmers back in Jamaica, farm of Jamaica, and we brought we brought um, Pata Rankin from Africa. You know, I mean, to give a little bit of that African flair. You know, so all is good, man. All is good. You know. I'm excited and looking forward for the great Jamaican jerk chicken. All about fun food, music and culture and giving back to the community. I'm from Jamaica and you know what I bring to the people is our original flavor. I bring it to you in a wrap, I bring it to you um, as a meal. Uh, we do catering and we also do festival events, uh, preferably the larger ones. Nice. And uh, you know we travel across the US, um, we're in Canada as well. And um, you know we're spreading our wings, uh, bringing the flavor to the people, spreading the culture, and um, inviting and welcoming everyone to try our Jamaican cuisine. Miss Pat, we need one more ticket. Well, we need one ticket. Miss Pat, I need one more ticket. I go get out of here. Miss Pat, we need one more ticket, Miss Pat. 
<laughs> we can't keep yeah. meeting like this, you know. Yes. Last time we were here, we were for the vinyl collection yeah. and vinyl day, which is an amazing day. Uh, caught the episode on TV. By the way, I watch you guys each and every Sunday. Love what you're doing. Love nice. the energy. Love the topics that you're taking on. And love the things that you're introducing also to the community. Because sometimes we can't get to go to a certain thing. But once we see it on your show, really next year now, I'm going to miss you. You understand? Sure. So it's a big respect. But yeah, we're here at VP Records for the launch of the Jerk Festival, Sunday, July 22nd. Royal Wilkins Park. As you know, as always, VPRs have a huge lineup. You know VPRs bring you the stars because it's VP records, they've got the stars. But to me, what's most important about the Jerk Festival is the food, the family, and the, the gathering of everybody from the Caribbean. Hello, my name is Fatima Sisse and I am AKA Young Oprah, for many reasons, of course, but I am the PR person for Affleck TV and we are excited to be part of this amazing event coming up on the 22nd. And of course, we're bringing the one and only Pato Rankin. You know his energy, everybody loves his energy, so we're humbled to be part of this. We're gonna bring Wakanda to the park. I want to dance with you, Wena. I'm available, I'm, a, I'm available. Yeah, come chat in over there. A taste of jerk is the event. VP record is the place. And I'm standing next to New Kingston. Who just give you a little thing out of this while I'm going on? The thing mad. What's going on, brother? Yeah, man. Vibes nice. New York City, the sun out, everything, Chris. A real thing, man. A real thing, man. It's all about July 22nd. What we can expect from New Kingston? Crazy vibes, crazy vibes, man. This is it's always a pleasure for us to return to New York City and play some reggae music, you know. So when we touch the stage, straight Kingston fire, you see it? Yeah man, vibes. Consumers came to shop and be entertained in this fusion of fashion, trade, and culture expo presented by Face of Fashion. It's a lot of hard work. You have to be really committed, but this is what I love. As I said, I'm passionate about fashion, and I have created this platform where people who are unknown or who have little experience or no experience at all, they're able to come and launch their career or try it out, at least try it out to see if that's something they really want. And that is my passion. I really feel good when I can help people. So I'm in the business of helping people. Yes, this is Caribbean Me magazine, the Fashion Forward magazine for Caribbean diaspora women. And we are excited about our launch in June, Caribbean American Heritage Month, and we're ready to go. We're going on the road at the Hollywood Carnival, Hollywood Boulevard, come be with us. But our cover, we are featuring our own Brooklyn, Glenroy Marsh. And we're excited about having Glenroy with us. He is a designer couture and he is Caribbean and he lives right here in New York. So our theme for our very first magazine cover, from Hollywood to Harlem and back again. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to share all the wonderful things about Caribbean people here in New York, all the way across the country and in Hollywood. We need you to come be with us. Go to C-A-R-I-B-M-E-M-A-G. Sign up now. If you sign up today, 
you will be entered into a prize opportunity of two tickets to the Miami Carnival in October. Come be with us and have fun. Caribe me. Hi, my name is Taide Argelia. I'm here at the Caribbean New York Fashion Week fashion show showcasing my designs. This here is my first collection that I'm showcasing and it is entitled First Impressions by Taide Argelia. The inspiration, the inspiration for my collection is basically to showcase and return to that sophisticated, classy woman. Uh, my designs are for that woman that wants to feel empowered, classy, and sophisticated, that uh, on-the-go businesswoman. I have several uh, designs here, and uh, they're all dresses. And the reason why I chose dresses is because I want it to be easy every morning for a woman to get dressed and feel confident and feel beautiful. How you doing? I'm Claiborne. I'm one of the designers. I'm bringing it. And I'm here at the Caribbean New York Fashion Week. Beautiful show, beautiful people, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful everything. So I'm a designer and I'm bringing beautiful clothes. I have feather pieces here. Beautiful sequence pieces, gowns, beautiful gowns, sexy too. I'm going real sexy. I have the beautiful beaded pieces. I have risque pieces. Wait till you see this one on the runway. I have beautiful princess-like pieces. Real beautiful. I have stuff for the brothers. Masculine, hard, real cool, don't play, kind of clothes. Pieces with feathers. We are Caribbean. That's the theme. New York Caribbean Fashion Week. I somewhat like being Caribbean, you know? Like we have so, we, there's so many of us, there's, there's, we just enjoy everything. And Caribbean Fashion Week has a lot to offer. You can see beautiful models, beautiful designs from uh, designers from New York, from uh, Guyana, from Trinidad, from Dominique. We just got a whole lot of them from everywhere. Me and the man gone on the sky right now. Yeah. Food Network and all them things, the international Jamaican chef. Food net, oh, yeah, well, tell a little bit about that, yeah, man. Well, listen, man. Listen, man. It's a blessing, man. It's a blessing because, you know, what people say, wait, are the youth that way I come from being homeless and come from sleeping on the street to where I'm heading up a food network? But like me say, man, you love what you do and you're passionate about what you do and you just have faith in yourself and just keep pushing on. But you don't know, a Jamaican chef I come at the food network, you know, so you want to keep it locked because, listen, me, I got to turn up some Jamaican food and show you exactly what's going on in the Caribbean and just bring a little bit of Caribbean flair to the food network in the kitchen style. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> In in the the kitchen. All right, guys, you don't know. Every week, I'm always going to do something different. So this week, I'm doing a Calypso shrimp, and I'm going to serve it over some fried rice. It is going to be off the chain. Some spinach going to be inside of it, zucchini, squash, and I'm using one of my favorite brands, which is going to be Walker's Wood. I'm also going to use a curry paste, which you never see nothing like this. So follow me and watch what I'm doing. All right, I have my shrimp, some nice 1620 shrimp. I mean, I'm going to go with a little bit of salt, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of obey, and I'm gonna go with a little bit of pepper flakes, and then I'm gonna go with my Walker's wood. I'm gonna go with a little bit of my Walker's curry paste, Calypso shrimp. I always like to change up the flavor of things, so that's what I'm doing right here now. My pot is already nice and hot, and I'm gonna put my shrimp in. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. All right, nice. I just want to give my shrimp a little bit of chard. A little bit of chard. Then I'm going to draw for my season, which I already have. All right, as I say, I'm doing a Calypso shrimp. And you know Calypso shrimp is going to be a little bit spicy. So I'm 
going for my walkers with a little bit of my spinach. I like food to be colorful. Beautiful. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of my fried rice dressing inside. Beautiful. And let that marinate right there. Take its own little time and cook. My oil already nicely hot. I'm gonna go for my veg. Put my veg in. Then I'm gonna put my egg. My scrambled egg already that I have already pre-scrambled. To make my fried rice. Not too much. Nice. Change up the game a little bit. Like I say, not all the time. Some spinach, a little bit more spinach. Beautiful. I'm gonna put a little bit of my, my salt and my pepper and a little bit of obey. To nice up the flavor. And then I'm gonna go for my fried rice sauce. I'm gonna let this salty a little bit. And then I'm gonna go for my fried rice sauce. I'm changing up. CIN, you're not ready for this yet. All right. A little bit of my fried rice sauce. Beautiful. I'm gonna let that caramelize a little bit. And while that is caramelizing, I have my rice already pre-cooked. And then I'm gonna pour my rice in. Nice. Looking good. All right. Leave it, let it caramelize a little bit. And then I flip it over. Nice, beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna let it char a little bit because I wanna give it a little bit of char. You know, normally you can make this in a wok. That's how you're supposed to make it. You're supposed to make it in a wok, but not everybody have wok at their house, but people have a nice little skillet. So I'm actually showing you the way how you can do it at home with a nice little skillet at home. You want to make something different for the kids. This is what you can do real simple, real easy. At home, you don't need a nice. Yes, you can have a nice little wok, but if you don't have it, just use a skillet. Just use what you have. That's it. All right, guys. So now this is almost finished and this is ready. And this is nice and flavorful. And we're going to go right in the plate in the presentation and finish up. I'm going to make like a nice little well in the middle. And that's where I'm going to put my shrimp. So, this bad boy, look at that. Look at that, just look at that, guys. Just look at that. That's what I'm talking about. already I always say sprinkle a little bit of love so I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of love right now and the love looks something like this that's a finished detail that's a love What team are you supporting to win the World Cup? We take it to the streets to find out. Yeah, well, the football is very interesting. Very interesting. Um, the teams play very hard. But I still like England. England got a good team. If they play smart, they could get up to the quarterfinals. Greatly over the years, I watch great team both at the World Cup. Team that you expect not to lose, such as Argentina, Brazil, and this year you look at Germany. And the team that I'm looking at really living up to expectation is Croatia. I love to watch the World Cup. And I, I hope that uh, Brazil or Argentina will win the final. So this is Michael from the East. I'm here at the Shrine, checking out the World Cup right now. And uh, 
you know, it's Senegal against uh, Colombia. But, you know, I'm going for Senegal because that's, that's how we roll. How you doing? It's Tony York. I'm here to come chat with me right now and we're watching the World Cup. Um, I love it right now. It's, bringing, it's going to bring soccer to America, and I'm loving this right now. I'm loving the energy, the excitement, the fans around it, and everybody else is feeling them. It's a great. Um, I hope Spain wins. Hope y'all are with me with Spain, and I'll see y'all soon. I love the World Cup. I love that all the countries can be a part of something phenomenal like this. But the team that I was supporting is my husband's team, Nigerian, but they lost. And I'm so sorry that they lost because they have so much talented men in Nigeria and they can play well. I don't know what happened that day, but now I was, I like Brazil. Did they win? Brazil? They lost. They win? I love Brazil because it's close to Guyana. My name is Joel. Uh, my team, like in this World Cup, is like it was like Nigeria, all African teams, and I also support uh, Argentina. So that's my team. After African team, my team is like Argentina, and I still, I, I still have a hope. Like uh, Senegal gonna make like different, and they're gonna. So win and we're gonna like all Africa is gonna be proud. Yeah, I support Argentina for the World Cup, and my name is Joseph Peters. My team that I picked to win the World Cup when the original run started was Germany, but Germany has been has made an exit out of the World Cup right now, and because of Ronaldo's and Messi's performance in the European Cups and other cups, I would like one of them to win the World Cup to make a climax to their career. But Brazil is still there, right? And I think Brazil is a dangerous team too. Belgium is a dangerous team too, right? And I like how England is playing too. Because the captain is leading England in a different direction. But there are, 10, there are 16 teams that are left in the World Cup now. 10 from Europe, four from South America, and maybe two from Asia. Japan is there still. But right now, the team I'm picking to win the World Cup now, right, is Portugal. Thanks for watching. Come chat with me. See you next week. Simply Kills. Jamaica is a nice place to live. We have everything, the sunshine, the rivers, and the good Ray and Navy rum. Come chat with me. Come chat with me.